Hey, I'm Zach, but a lot of friends online call me Jester because, well, I'm a bit of a joker. <laughs> so, I just wanted to quickly announce I'm going to be doing a small series of videos that do focus on mental health, both with my experience, friends' experiences, given consent, and I will give advice as best I can based on my experience and what I've learned. I will just want to quickly go into a little bit about the last video on what I was saying. Suicide is indeed a very heavy subject, and you're not bad or wrong for feeling like you can have, for feeling like you have those thoughts. My mental conditions, my mental state, my mental illness, whatever you want to call it, a lot of how I was before was a loop in invasive thoughts. Invasive thoughts can be sometimes goofy, but other times they can be negative, violent, and... I want you to know, I am much better now than I was before, and I did not want to act on the thoughts that had to do with committing to suicide. And you've heard this before, getting help is very important. So asking for help will very much get you in a direction where you can get help. And I'm better because of therapy and medication. Some people will say medication isn't what should be taken for what you as a person should be doing. You as a person would be making the best of your situation and whatever's going on and learn and grow from who you are. But there are points where people cannot actively get themselves better without some form of help. And that can be through medication. Before videos like these, my concentration was out the window because I would not be able to maintain a thought long enough to make my point. And now I'm learning and growing in a way that I can actually communicate and do so calmly. I couldn't calmly communicate before at all because I was in a constant state of anxiety. It wasn't my environment that was causing it. I just felt like I could never stop feeling anxious about everything. You know, anxious in a way that, okay, I'm feeling really nervous about this, I'm feeling really nervous about this, I'm feeling really nervous about this. That was constantly how my mind went. And that is a good reason why I constantly acted awkward and probably unnatural. I acted in ways that were, I thought, appropriate for being a person. I didn't feel like Zack. I felt like I'm just this person who has to rely on characters to project what I mean, but I am not totally sure of what I may mean because I don't know my base self. And it took time before I could actually feel like I found my base. And these changes started happening about two to three weeks after my medications, and I will read them off to you because that way you will know what I'm taking and you can look up the effects of these medications. One of my medications is called bupropion. I didn't say that right, but that is one of the medications, B-U-P-R-O-P-I-O-N, and... I take that in the morning. 
to help with concentration. Risperidone, R-I-S-P-E-R-I-D-O-N-E. That is an antipsychotic, which helps with invasive thoughts. I take that twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, before bed. I take fluvoxamine malleate, F-L-U-V-O-X-A-M-I-N-E-M-A-L-E-A-T-E. And that is two tablets that I take for depression and OCD. OCD can cause invasive thoughts and a lot of anxiety, depression, but also depression is a thing. So that does help with my depression, which gives a lot of those negative thoughts and inability to have a will to do anything. And that's the thing. My depression made me feel like I couldn't do much of anything and felt like crap for it because I couldn't do it. And some people could say, hey, just do it and start doing the thing and you'll get into it. And I did try that. But anytime I was starting to get into something, that overwhelming feeling of anxiety and negativity it wouldn't go away no matter what I did. But now, anytime I'm doing something like this, I feel like I'm actually at peace. I have a calm. And I couldn't get that on my own. Without this medication, I would have been just secluded and unable to properly communicate and function. And it's taken up to now to actually feel like, oh... I can actually feel the value of doing things. And that's like helping. And I didn't choose to help before with the, the move because I felt like it didn't matter. And I knew it mattered to my roommates. But for however my brain functioned, it didn't matter enough to me to actively do something about it. So, last medication is lithium carbonate, and you can probably guess the spelling of that one, L-I-T-H-I-U-M-C-A-R-B-O-N-A-T-E. I take that at bedtime, and that is another form of antipsychotic, and I'm trying to remember the exact usage. And I know it's a bad idea to just kind of go, hey, I take these medications, but I don't know what they do. It helps with a lot of what could be manic thoughts and depressive thoughts. So it can help with dissociative identity disorder. And it can help with bipolar disorder. And after I took three of these medications, the bupropion was later added on. When I started taking these new medications, I felt like, oh my God, I'm feeling like things are real. Like, I feel like I'm positive now. I can actually feel like I'm here and I feel different. I feel better. And it could be coincidence. It could not be. But... I'm consistently taking these medications, and I shouldn't have to rely on them, of course. However, I have to, because that means I need to take these in order to function. However, again, I will be getting additional help. But, you know, I think we're kind of nearing the end of what would be this video. So I do want to thank you for watching and if you know you want to subscribe, you can if you want to and hit the bell because YouTube is inconvenient about notifications. So if you want notifications, go right ahead. But I post this to Tumblr, YouTube, and Facebook, and Twitter. So generally all social media because I'm at this point thinking, you know, I shouldn't have to just focus on the YouTube audience. I have friends and family who are willing to support me in what I do, and I just need to be real about it. And now I can finally feel real to be real. So 
I want to thank you for watching this far, if you did get this far, because 10 minutes are a long time. Or sorry, 10 minutes is a long time. It's late. I shouldn't be doing this at like 3 in the morning. But I am, because you can hear the crickets again. So that will be it for now. And if you want to discuss anything, you can go right ahead on whichever social media that this video is on. Whether, again, it be YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr. I am open to any discussion with this video or subjects related to it. So if you want to, go right ahead. But until the next video, you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, and good night. See you next time. Love you lots, and thanks for hanging out. See ya.